since her last. Bruff Scott looks back. My first clear memory of the derby is being up near Tatton Corner by the rails in 1953, the Saturday of Coronation Week, with sunshine and a runner for the Queen. Jagampo it was who showed the way round Tattenham Corner, and here it was too that Pinsa came along into second place. I can remember being able to peer around the rails, and the Queen had a runner called Oriole, which is a lovely flashy chestnut with a big white noseband, and he was about third favourite. There were 27 runners, think of that. But it was a really exciting day. The Queen was 27, and so Epsom was a big, big day, and the Queen's horse actually came, just see it flashing up on the outside, it finished second at Oriole. But it was a really exciting day, and I'm so, I'm so lucky to be here and to have this memory. And I remember it, of course, you, you dust that memory down. I remember it very, very clearly. And Oriole, followed by Pink Horse, now came through to take second and third places. But the finish was all pizza. Her Majesty was obviously most excited, even if victory had eluded her. The Oaks, 60 years ago, 1957, a winner for Lester Piggott for the Queen. But actually, on, on the second string, there was another horse called Marbury Harbour, but Lester won it by inches from a horse called Silk and Glad, ridden by Pat Edry's father. In those days, he rode really long like a jump jockey, which of course he was in his spare time, and his father and grandfather had been before him. Moving on to 1977, the Queen's Silver Jubilee year, and a winner for the Queen, of course Dunfermline, she bred herself. Terrific cheering, Willie Carson rode her, and the second horse, as far as I remember, was ridden by Frankie de Toy's father, Ian Franco. And now going into the lead, and Dunfermline wins the oak. But it was a great day, and I remember at the time, you know, Silver Jubilee, and would never have given a thought with the Queen still magnificently on the throne and having runners and big races as well. I don't think it's possible to overestimate the benefit to flat racing of the Queen's really passionate interest. It's her number one outside interest. She knows all about her horses and other horses. I mean, she loves horses. She's a very good rider. She's riding still in her 90s. And she remembers horses through. She remembers, of course, she's bred them over the years. So she remembers sons and grandsons and great-great-grandsons and all that. She has all that pleasure. The interest of the Queen over these last 50 years and more has been absolutely wonderful. Well said, Bruff. What a day it was 40 years ago. What will 